Hey and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is me talking about the end credits for season 2 of Netflix's original series, The Witcher. So if you're here and you haven't seen the series yet, there are going to be spoilers, kind of. Like if you don't want to know about the end credits scene yet or you're here because you do, welcome. If you don't, run away and come back soon. But for now, let's jump in. The Witcher Blood Origin, prequel to the Netflix series The Witcher, set in an elven world 1200 years before the show, centering on the origins of the very first Witcher. So if you watched the clip, you very quickly realize, hang on a minute, I don't recognize any of these characters. It's set 1200 years before the Witcher actually came about. This is the story of the first Witcher. It's also the story of the fall of the Elven Kingdom. It isn't mentioned much in the books. It's like very lightly. It will tell the story of how the Convergence came to be. I think in this origin story, we get to see the Convergence. We get to see the fall of the Elven Kingdom and the first Witcher. It's kind of that first story. And the lead here is Michelle Yo. I'm very excited, as you've seen in the clip there. Very excited to see what they do with this, I think this six episode series is going to be a standalone so i don't know that we're going to get more but it's kind of connecting it if they wanted to do more they obviously could because they've got a lot of time to play about but really this is taking a little bit of the law i know i know the author himself has said that he's very excited to see what they do with it but he actually hasn't written much about this time so it's really kind of fresh new content um, we had that similar in with the anime but now we have this end credit scene where we get to see a little bit of what's going on. Already seeing Michelle Yeoh with the sword doing her skills there. But if you've seen her in anything recently, you'll know she has great acting chops. Not just the martial arts, which I think a lot of people kind of recognize her for. Uh, but recently I've seen her in great stuff, which I've really appreciated. Netflix today, really fun um Christmas movie with her I think that was last Christmas or it's on Netflix at least and I enjoyed what she did there but I'm looking forward to her in the lead role for this I believe she is definitely one of the protagonists I want to see how they kind of connect to the Witcher obviously there's some time gap there but they're going to be showing us how it all came to be but if it's done just I think it can be awesome let me know your thoughts down below and <laughs> what you thought about did you think when you were watching this end credit scene going hang on a minute, this has nothing to do with the Witcher, like where we are at the moment. It kind of does, but it's setting up the next story, which I presume we're going to get sometime in 2022, because they've already filmed a lot of it. I'm hoping early 2022, April, probably going to make us wait until June, because I imagine it's going to be two years before that we see the next season of The Witcher. Let me know your thoughts below. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.